Hi, Shiva Rajaya from vitalcoaching.com. We are talking about coupling dynamics and the topic for this video is create healthy boundaries in your couple, in your relationship. So one of the things that tends to happen when you enter into a relationship is to believe that from now on you can do whatever you want within the context of this relationship. And one of the things that uh, couples have to learn, or individuals, partners have to learn within a coupling experience is to communicate in ways that are um, healthy and targeted and that are really going to work in creating connection with um, your, your partner. So something that I notice is, for instance, when it comes to uh, messaging, right? You are on, on Messenger and you are communicating via that medium. Sometimes um, people are going to process uh, through Messenger. They're going to share, for instance, challenging feedback through Messenger, which is usually not a very good thing to do. So, for instance, uh, a boundary that you can es uh, um, establish is, please, if there is anything challenging that you want to share with me, let's do that face-to-face -face when we meet. Uh, don't call me. Don't Let's not do that by phone. Let's not do that by text message. Why? Because the container is not set up. It's not safe. Another boundary that you might have is, please don't interrupt me when I'm at work. You know, for instance, you might be working from home, right? And you need to have your own space. You need to be able to have this secure space where your partner is not going to invade your space with uh, coupling dynamics or questions about your relationship or things like that. So establishing some form of boundary is within the, the, the realms of what is going to secure your couple and your relationship. The fact that you're in a couple experience, in a coupling experience with somebody, doesn't mean that you have access to that person all the time, uh, able to do whatever you want with with them without that person being allowed to say no to you. For instance, you might not necessarily be in the mood to have sex every single night. There are some nights where you're not into it. So being able to, to tell to your partner, you know what, I just need to sleep right now. I'm just exhausted. I had a really long day. I need to rest before I can engage in any form of sensual exchange with you. Okay, so for instance, this kind of communications this kind of exchanges, what we are saying is that it's okay to say no to each other. It's okay to have sometimes a boundary, sometimes a wall that says, I don't want to be touched right now. You know, stay away from me for a couple of days because I'm processing something and I need to be in my own space. And you as a partner, when you hear something like that, the answer could be like, how do you dare? I thought we were together. I thought we were in a relationship. What do you mean? Why do you need this? You know, this is stupid. You know, and be reactive and not allow that person to take their own space. Or you can be like, totally, honey, I understand. Yeah, take as much time as you want. I'll be right here. I'm going to do my own thing for a couple of days and I'll see you back in a couple of days. You see, it's taking the space, taking, allowing your partner to say no to you without you freaking out, without entering into reactive mode. So this is what we mean by, you know, having healthy boundaries and having a healthy way to communicate around that. This means being in your truth. You know, you share from a place where this is my truth, this is what I need right now, and I'm voicing that and I'm expressing it, and I'm, you know, just giving you a signal right now, which is back, back off, you know, back off, for instance. And this is completely okay. So these kind of boundaries and these kind of settings within the relationship, usually they are not, you know, too much anchored. The reason why they are not anchored is because there is a belief that when you marry somebody or when you are in a committed relationship with that person, suddenly you have all the rights to offer feedback, to micro challenge that, micro manage that person, to challenge them anytime you want, that you can uh, uh, storm into their life, whatever way you want, create drama. No, it's like what you can do as a person who needs their space, for instance, or who needs certain boundaries, healthy boundaries, is sometimes you look at your partner and you go like, I can see that you are facing something right now that is really challenging for you, and now is not, not the right time for me to share. I'm about to take off, I have to go to work, I've got things to do, I'll see you tonight and we'll talk about it within the context of uh, a secure um, uh, space and a secure exchange. Like right now is not a good time, please. Just give me space. I'll be back soon. And then if you receive text messages around the same topic, you're like, you know what? I hear what you're saying. Let's talk about this tonight. I cannot engage into this conversation right now. 
Okay, so these are healthy boundaries. It's the ability to say no sometimes. Yes, now is a good time, you know, but basically remain in control of your own space, your own energy, your own body. The fact that you're in a relationship doesn't mean that you are delegating all that to your partner.